Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Right now in Victoria, you've got to walk around with a permit, with your papers to prove you're an authorised worker. Right, I'm giving you a lawful direction to go yeah. home and leave the city. Otherwise, we'll be forced to arrest you. Do you, Are you is that? that an order? Is it a one? Yes, it's a lawful yeah. direction. Melbourne, Australia. While the rest of the world is learning to live with it, Melbourne, Australia is becoming more and more of a police state. I come here for a walk. Oh, you came here for a walk? Yeah. It's an expensive walk. Oh, they could, yeah. You're not going to pay that fine, are you? They could stick it up their ass. There you go. That's uh, one ticket of uh, $1,900 issued for breaching the Chief Health Officer directions from an officer who was clearly within a metre and a half without a mask. Because science. I'll ask you not to talk to okay? We're just trying to interview. We're just trying to get some information from him. No See problem. if an offence has been committed. Okay? No so. Problem. Don't disturb us just for a little while, okay? And then you, yep. can, you can talk to him. Why are you so suspicious today, Rookshine? I thought you were bald. What happened? Don't believe everything you see on the internet. <laughs> so they're arresting my friend. They're going to take her away over there um, because she came here to stand up for our rights as Australian citizens. And I've given them the reason that I'm heading down to the exhibition centre to get vaccinated. So therefore, I'm technically free to go as long as I do that. She's walking to get a vaccination with us on. <laughs> That's the most crafty. <laughs> I haven't heard that one yet. But don't you think we should do whatever it takes to stop the spread? And yes. one of the biggest ways that this virus is spread is through people breathing. You're going to stop people breathing. We don't hide. We, don't hide. we come we out in force. We've got to stand up for our rights. I didn't think I'd have to come after two trips to Afghanistan to come back and fight on our own soil. Their own government. I don't want anyone in the Taliban. I want to apply for asylum. I'd rather move back there right now. I reckon you're in. I, I look like I'll fit. Yeah, you do. You do. <laughs> We're taking her to the van to give the to get the paperwork out to write it out for her. Okay. okay well, I'll be going with her. Well, you're, going, you're going to get a you're going to get a COVID test. Uh, yeah, and then she's COVID coming jab. with me because she's with me and um, she's my driver. But if she's not going to get a COVID test, there's no other reason for her to be here. So she'll be going home. Oh, okay. She can drop me off on the way. Otherwise, other, she can drop no, me off on no, the we're way. Not a taxi service. Taxis have the yellow lights. We have the red and the blue ones. Okay. <coughs> I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about her and me. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. 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 Moving on. Moving on. Plenty of other people are going harassed. People, in the matrix, that's who you are. Like that. Daniel Andrews is a rubbish leader. He has no leadership skills. Blames everything on the Victorian people. Takes no responsibility. Who do you think he's going to blame tomorrow? Uh, daycares and schools. Those bloody pesky children. I knew they oh, were always yeah. a problem. The hardest part of a 14 days to flood on the curve is the first 18 months. Mate, how much longer are we going to do this? They make you think they are, they you are. They're doing it for your health. When instead, they're depriving you of your freedom. My father was dying in the nursing home. He was an ex-Red Beret. He fought for our freedoms. And one of the last words he said was... This is going to be a dust up. It's happening again. What the hell did my mates die for? This is my second time being a protest, but um, it's just fun. Hey, hey, you've been to two protests? Yes. You're a serial protester. You, you may end up uh, in a lot of trouble. I don't know. It's just funny that I'm a law abiding citizen, never broken a law, a law in my life until I started imposing all these code directives. How come? Donut shop, milk tea shop, full of sugar, allowed to open, but gym is a place for people's mental health and physical health that's not allowed to open. How come? Uh, because science. Are you telling me my body, my choice? You don't. My body, my choice. That's, <laughs> that's a cut. Uh, <laughs> you like my hair? Yeah, it's good, man. Had a haircut. Don't you like my braids? I love it, I love it. I thought what I'll do with my hair is I would create social distancing between the two. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whose is better without no conflict of interest? Whose is better? <laughs> Why are you eavesdropping on my conversation with this lovely man? They are good braids, they're good braids aren't they? I, I would say I did it myself, but that would be fake news, so I would be working for Channel 7. The media is fake. Why is the media fake? Just all the news they share, they're trying to make the world seem out like it's just a horrible place, when in reality they're the horrible people making it horrible. Good thing every time here, around for the protest. How many people do you think are here? 
Oh, millions of people Be every, all around. Because from where you stand, you can probably count the I heads. Can see everyone here. Look, there's so many heads. How many? There's How many? Seven to eight thousand or more. There's more coming. Don't worry. I trust you more than Channel Seven. F Channel Seven. The media, except for Avi, is lying to you. Do you rather go to school or homeschool? I'd rather go to school than homeschool. Yeah. Why is that? Because it's much better and you could actually um, hang out with your friends and it's more funner. Yeah, I hear you there, buddy. I hear you. Hey, mate, listen, that is, that is a good looking shirt. Where'd you, you like get that it? from? Oh, for you, mate. I'm supporting you, bro. Yeah, no, 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 I'll ask it again. I, I say, where'd you get it from? You go, rebelstore.com.au. Rebel News, mate, get on it. The only passport I need. What is that passport? The Australian passport, my friend, and it's the only one we need. It's sad, and I hate seeing my city like this, and I hate seeing the divide in our community. Hi, Rebel News. How are you doing? What are you doing here today? Protesting. What are you protesting? For my children's future. Yeah, is he coughing on you? He needs to wear a mask, mate. Oh, no, oh, sorry, mate. No, oh, I'm spreading it everywhere. I'm With sorry. the mask, no, mate. No, no, no. Oh, here we are in Melbourne, Australia, enforcing compliance. Thank you for putting the mask on your dog. Thank um, you, Stay yeah. safe. Yeah. And make sure you go to support uh, supportrv.com and sign up at rebel uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.